We're probably all very, very familiar with Delmarva's connection to some pretty big names and products. Country music artist Jimmy Allen of Milton, for instance. Oh yeah, also out of Milton, uh, Dogfish Head Beer. Yep, Purdue and Mount Air Farms. Well, in today's Throwback Thursday, we're adding another name to that list, and it's one that I reckon many people might not know. Noxema. Yeah, that Noxema, the skin care product. Guess who's with us this afternoon at Secrets of the Eastern Shore author Jim Duffy of Cambridge with facts on this fascinating find. How are you? Good. It's, it's good my favorite time of the Thank week. How so could I not much be good? For coming. It's great to have you here. Good to be here. So, Noxema, we're talking about Noxema, and there's a, a guy's name here, Dr. Francis Townsend. Who's yeah. that? Born late 1800s in Snow Hill. He moved to Ocean City when Ocean City was still pretty small okay. and became the town's first doctor. All right? Okay. He was famous for riding his bike on the boardwalk to house calls because the roads were such a mess, it was easier to ride a bike than it was to take cars <laughs> because of mud and everything else. And before cars, he didn't want to take a horse. So he also was an entrepreneur. Uh -huh. He opened a pharmacy. Okay. He started renting those wheeled carts to walk up and down the boardwalk. Oh, nice. He also invented a, a cream to help people uh, combat uh, sunburn, which is near and dear to my heart because I only have two colors, pale white and bright <laughs> red. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> so he invents this cream, right? And it, it would later become Noxema? Yeah. A doctor in Baltimore talked to him about this cream. That doctor's name was George Bunting. Okay. And I've seen a couple of different versions of what happened. Either Dr. Townsend from Ocean City just said, sure, here, use my cream, do whatever you want with it. Or there, there wasn't really a formal business relationship, or Dr. Bunting bought some of the cream and kind of figured out what was in it and, and whatever. And soon enough, in Baltimore, a product came out called Dr. Bunting's Miracle Cream. No. Dr. Bunting's. And by 1920, that was Noxema. The very first Noxema plant went up in Baltimore in 1920. Dr. Townsend had invented his cream in 1912. So what became of that relationship? I think my suspicion on all the reading that I've done is that Dr. Townsend just didn't care. Really? Yeah. I don't think he cared about the money. I don't think he cared about the product. There's no record of him ever complaining about this stuff or really of his family ever complaining about it. So my, my inclination is he just told Dr. Bunting, yeah, whatever, do what you want. Yeah, okay. And but, then watch, you know, there's kind of a, it's a wonderful life aspect to this story. Right. Because uh, when Dr. Thompson died in 1945, his funeral was on July 4th, in the middle of the tourist season. In they Ocean closed City? down every business in town so that all the businesses really? and the employees could attend his funeral wow. in the middle of the tourism season. So it's kind of like that George Bailey thing where he's the richest man in town. That is such an interesting story. It is. I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah. Jim but, I, but I should say one more thing, which is that the Buntings, you know, think of them as the rich people. Yeah. They use their money. If you go to Johns Hopkins, their cancer research building, <sighs> they're this, they're that. All of that money went to lots of good causes, so particularly in medicine sort of up in Baltimore. Track Johns Hopkins all the way back to Dr. Townsend? Kinda? Kinda? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And I yeah. feel like everybody came out ahead. Yeah, exactly. Everybody came out ahead. Yeah. Yeah, we're all winners. Exactly. <laughs> Jim Duffy, as always, here. thank you so much. No kidding.